in mechanics and materials, yielding in fracture failures are considered especially heinous. To help predict failure, we need engineers like you in the jury to decide whether Tresca or Vamisi's criterion does a better job of predicting failure. These are their stories. Dun dun. All rise. You may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very interesting case that has been brought forth to our court today. It is the case of Tresca versus von Mises. Both of these gentlemen claim to have the best failure criterion for engineering materials. However, it'll be up to the engineering students of our jury to decide which one makes the best case. Now, before we consider both their point of views, we have to define what engineering failure means. Sometimes engineering failure could be yielding. So consider a steel building where we have yielding occur. Yielding would cause very large deformations and could leave the structure unusable after you know, large pieces of it have yielded. So sometimes we would define yielding as uh, when the material fails. This is when plastic deformations happen and permanent uh, deformation occurs. In other materials, fracture might be defined as failure. So if we think about materials that are more brittle, like concrete, or remember that cast iron specimen that we used, or even something like soils, these tend to have more maybe brittle failures and fracture might be more the concept where we would expect we would define failure to occur. Depending on the scenario, one of these theories might be better to use than the other. We will have to listen to both the cases for von Mises and for Tresca. In addition, when we talk about failure, when we have stresses that are acting in multiple directions, so in the case of having, you know, stress in two or even three dimensions, figuring out when something fails is a little bit harder. So hopefully uh, these gentlemen presenting their case today will be able to convince you of how we could predict failure in engineering. For today's trial, I want you to focus on three things. I want you to be able to describe Tresca's failure criterion, be able to describe von Mises' failure criterion, and then be able to apply both criteria to solve engineering problems. It is now time to begin. We would ask the first defendant Mr. Tresca, to please take the floor.